Lindis, also known by her nickname Lin, is a master swordswoman from the world of Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade, and is an unlockable warrior in the post-game content of Fire Emblem Warriors. Navar, known by his nickname The Crimson Fencer, is likewise a master swordsman, coming from the world of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, and is unlocked through the Shadow Dragon DLC pack. Lin and Navar share a playstyle in Fire Emblem Warriors, which involves striking with highly agile and quick cuts to run down and overwhelm their enemies. As two of the most classic characters on the roster, these characters' status as fan favorites is without question. But how does their playstyle stack up? Let's get down to business and see what they can do. Lin and Navar's standard attack string consists of seven strikes. In rapid succession, they will slash right, up and left, spin and slash forwards, step forward and slash upwards, jump and double slash back down, unleash a flurry of strikes to the right and left, and then finish with a very fast thrust and a final big X slash. Now, if you didn't get a sudden rush of adrenaline when trying out this attack string for the first time, then I just can't understand you. This attack string is aggressive, highly mobile, and incredibly effective. From the way that Lin and Navar incorporate forward movement with every strike, these slashes alone can be enough to cut through entire groups. While its movement can make it a little bit harder to control and learn to use well, I don't believe that it is excessively difficult to get a hang of. In fact, I think that once you have gotten the gist of their momentum, this attack string is unquestionably the best one in the game. Moving on to their heavy attack, when used, Lin and Navar will take a quick stance before unleashing an incredibly fast slash which carries them forward. In most situations, this attack isn't all that useful, but through practice, I have found one reasonable use for it, which I will get into in just a moment. For now, let's look at their first heavy attack combo, in which Lin and Navar will perform a jumping slash, knocking their foes into the air, from which they can then follow up with mid-air standard attacks or slam them back down to the ground by hitting the heavy attack button. Enemies that you have slammed will be thrown backwards a bit, and it is in these situations that I have found a use for the normal heavy attack, as its quick movement will allow you to catch back up and continue a juggle on an important target, such as a general with their weak point gauge available to be broken. Next up, their second combo will have them do a series of spin slashes forward, before finishing with a final slam. This attack allows you to get some quick burst damage off in a small area, and is useful for finishing off slightly stronger enemies or weakened generals. For their third combo, Lin and Navar will perform a rising series of slashes into the air, finishing with an X slash that is able to reveal enemy weak points. You will be high into the air at the end of this attack, which means that you are able to add on some aerial hits to enemies that you've knocked up with you, as well as meaning that you can do the same slam back down followed by a heavy attack trick that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Next up, their fourth combo will have them jump and spin while attacking forward. The number of jumps that you perform is affected by how long you mash the button, and so they can jump forward to attack between two to six times. This combo is one of the few attacks in the game that is actually made a little bit worse by adding Astra to your character. The increased speed of each slice, combined with the high amount of movement, can allow you to easily jump past the enemy that you might be wanting to hit, something which is extra painful due to this attack being their fourth combo, which means that against enemies that you have an advantage against, you will have had their stun gauges revealed already. Don't get me wrong, you should definitely still add Astra to Lin and Navar. In fact, they're probably the two best characters to add it to. However, just be mindful of your movement when executing this combo for when you're trying to break down a single target. For their fifth and final combo, Lin and Navar will perform an elongated series of attacks midair, gathering up many foes before finishing with one big final slash. This combo, although it seems like it will do most of its damage midair, has a final blast that hits for a big area upon finishing, making this one of the best area damagers in the game. However, on top of this, unlike other area attacks, Lin and Navar are airborne while channeling it, meaning that they are not really that vulnerable to counterattack. So I think it's simple to say that this is one of the best attacks in the game, if not the very best. Lin and Navar, as human sword wielders, only have a critical weakness to any spear users in the game. However, Lin's unique weapon, the Soul Kati, does naturally have a critical advantage against dragons, allowing you to equip it with a second critical advantage skill to make it doubly useful. Stat difference-wise, I have heard a lot of overblown analysis between Navar and Lin, with some people claiming that Navar's higher attack strength makes Lin quote-unquote useless. This is not even close to being the case, and while it is true that Navar has slightly more strength, Lin has much higher physical defense. Every other stat of theirs is almost the same, making 
who you choose to use come more out of your character preference than any big difference in their stats. It should be clear at this point that Lin and Navarre are clearly in the top tier of this game. While they are not always the best choice due to Fire Emblem Warriors' weapon effectiveness system, when it comes to sword wielders, it's easy to say that they are the very best. While Ryoma is probably the better duelist, given that that is exactly what his entire playstyle is built around doing, Lin and Navarre are probably the second best at this while still being the very best sword user for area attacking. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. All that's left for you to take is my life. Boss, why are you doing this? The one who survives will inherit the title of Boss. <laughs> 